I just think it was really easy to set up all this stereo. We have this CD player here. And there's a couple of cables that need to go into this one. This one always go into the CD player, regardless if you have amplifier and stuff. This one always goes in here, this one always goes in. But there was three things that I needed to do was this cable here, mono cable. I don't know exactly what it's called. This one goes into the amplifier that I have in the very back. Just put the red one here and here. And there's also one more cable. That's the REM cable. This here. Those three cables is the only thing I need to do with uh, this one. Because the other speakers, small speakers and stuff that goes in here and the power. So only those three. And then this tree goes into the amplifier in the very back. And then the amplifier in the very back needs power and grounding, plus and minus. But for now, this is the only thing I need to do with the... So now the player is set. We can get a look under the hood. As you can see, here's the cable that goes into the amplifier in the very back. So it needs a very long cable for that. And here's the minus, the grounding. But I don't want to take the cable all the way to the battery. 
So I just find some metal in the very back. I could use for grounding to the amplifier. So that's what I need to do here, just this cable. Let's take a look at the setup in the back. Very nice to sit and work back here, because I got good space in this car. Here is the cables that get into the speakers, and the cables, here is the speaker connected to the amplifier. And here is the minus, the grounding, and the plus that we saw on the battery. And this minus just goes under there, and there I have some metal. I could, some clean metal with no painting and nothing like that, get a good grounding. And on this side of the amplifier, you see the two cables that were into the player, those two. And this one, that's just something extra, so I can regulate the bass more easily. And here is the, here's the RAM cable that get into the player, and those two into the player. And that's all the cable management that i done here. It was a simple process, but of, of course, if you, you can take the time to make it uh, more cleaner and better looking. But I'm just testing it because I want to sell it. I know the people can hear the sound and everything's work. But I can't get the maximum power out of the system from this car. Because the battery is pretty small and it doesn't deliver enough power. So when I'm turning the audio way up to get the last out of it, the player just turns off because it can't deliver. The car doesn't have enough electricity. It only gets up to 70-80% of what it's capable of delivering. Good process. Just double check that you get the plus and the minus right. And um, same for the speakers, the plus and the minus, the grounding. So you should be good to go. Sometimes those two is pretty hard to find out where to go. You can just experiment a little bit. I don't think it does that much if you place them wrong. And here we have the, the case. Pretty big one. It's a uh, 12 inches speakers. I had uh, one of each brand. Because they had two infinity speakers. One of them is not working anymore. So I just had another one in there that I got. So now I got two. I think that's about it.